Hello and welcome back to another Omni Heroes video. In this video, we're just going to go through hopefully floors 1 to 20 or maybe even 25 of Abyss um, difficulty in Rift Odyssey. Now, I have quick cleared and you can go ahead and quick battle the entire thing uh, if your team is strong enough, I believe. Um, but again, uh, it is, uh, it's up to you how you want to go ahead and play these missions. So what we're going to do is we're going to, we need three uh, Season 5 Valianters here. So what we'll do is we'll jump into Valianters and we'll just build one of these teams. So we'll go with Elmer, uh, Leandra, Atrops. We'll go with Makaria and we'll go with Nyx as well. Uh, stick these in front relics are absolutely fine let's go ahead and unlock elmer i'll defend the court at all costs let's go ahead and unlock my faith will guard atrops we've got 17 so i think three of each will do just to see us through and then we'll go ahead and unlock uh, Leandra as well there we go perfect right so now we do have the damage reduction as well so just something to keep in mind uh, that is how you do activate it you do require uh, unlocking these seasonal synergies as well so we'll go ahead and jump in uh, and just see how quickly we're beating these bosses now the seasonal synergy for the Valianters has changed um, do we have it here yeah so um they gain 4 energy after each basic attack and the assail duration is extended by 4 rounds which means we get uh, damage reduction and uh, attack as well as uh, we get this up here so 160 energy to deal 10% of max HP to all enemies and this damage caps at 200% of the team's average attack so just something to, uh, to keep in mind there we no longer have uh, the dodge mechanic that we had in the last season so in the last season when um, a Valianter dodged, they responded with an ultimate attack. And that has been put on the Glorians now, I believe. So just something to keep in mind. Now I'm to finish things off here. So uh, it looks relatively easy. We're doing it by round two. So let's go ahead and clear the next couple of stages with these teams. I think that out of all of the synergies, uh, the one that the Valianters have now um, is... It's not super effective unless you get it up to super high levels. Um, and the reason for that is because the raw damage is great, but a lot of the units that you come up against in PvP and in PvE, they just don't take that sort of damage. Um, or if they do take that damage, it's redundant because they get healed very quickly as well. Uh, Minotaur was the, the boss on that one. Um, so all you need to do is look up in the top right up here. Uh, there will be a, a picture of Minotaur, you click on him and you find out what units to counter uh, him and his, uh, his increased attack here. Uh, the Chessis can be another troubling one but not particularly against Valianters uh, because their uh, synergy buff um, can't be removed uh, as such. Um, so we're up to 8, next one will be 9. Seems easy enough for now. Uh, and we'll see what the number 10 boss has in store for us. So this is level 10. Uh, this is Persephone. She will provide uh, the fortitude counter. So we'll go ahead and see whether or not we can take them down before Persephone can uh, activate her fortitude counter. Uh, and then we'll uh, we'll go ahead, if we do need to, and we'll take out one of the, uh, the attackers. So Nyx, Makaria, or uh, Leandra. And we'll take them out and we can then proceed to put them in. It's not doing altogether too much damage, but I think it's uh, perfectly acceptable. So Fortitude on Ellie over here, which means that she is not going to uh, die uh, when we do attack. But the Fortitude will wear off uh, eventually. So as you can see, oh, and the execution got through the fortitude. So good, good for us to have that fortitude counter. Uh, sorry, to have the um, the execute effect as well. It's just something to keep in mind. Now, um, ethereals, not ethereals, glorians. 
uh, is the next synergy. Uh, so we'll go ahead and build a pretty standard Glorians team. I think the Monarch team um, will be sufficient. Uh, keep you on the front row. We'll go ahead and pop you. Shield, and we'll go with Hand of Tear as well. Uh, and this should be absolutely fine. If you've got Na'Wi, uh, you can build a Strikers uh, team. So with Gloria, Na'Wi, and Serafina. Um, but I prefer the safety net of the Monarch Synergy here. Um, just because we're not going to lose more than, I believe, 20% of our max HP in any one strike. Very good against the... Um, very good against the uh, Dooms synergy here. Fortunately, not able to do enough damage back to us, but if you are struggling, Monarch is definitely the way to go. Um, in that, they when a Monarch attacks and they've got the Monarch buff up, uh, they will lose the HP and they won't die before they do the damage, which can be uh, a very powerful effect. And we also have Cleo in here, um, just to give the... Perfect. So we have uh, Cleo in there, just to give uh, the Holy Shield uh, as well. So just something to keep in mind. And Audrey to finish things off. Perfect. Ah, oh, they came back. Came back for more. Didn't need to. Right, okay, so we'll skip through the rest of these. We'll stop on 15. Um, and just see what the boss is. Uh, and how we need to counter that said boss as well. So it is 14. Hey, Audrey down. Um, right, okay, so this is Plague Bride, so we can use any one of these units, uh, none within the uh, Glorian Synergy though, um, applies Plague on all enemies, uh, but that should be absolutely fine, I think it reduces HP, yeah, HP every round, permanent effect until we have 25 or more buffs on a unit, which shouldn't be too difficult, given what team we're running as well. So the Monarch Synergy there um, on the enemy team, very powerful, showing its uh, showing its colours, saving Lily and Leah. So it looks like able to take them down. There we go. So Talon has to finish the job there. Good enough. Right. So we'll persevere. And in fact, you know, I forgot to do been fighting all this time forgot to uh, go in and add in activate you activate you and we'll go ahead and activate you as well they have uh, added in more more um, heroes to this uh, so they've added in uh, Talos, Ayushtha, um, Wukong, uh, Victoria, Althea, uh, Talonas to this uh, particular synergy. Um, and then the other synergy, they've added in uh, Gwyn, Makaria, Arkdina, Mastema, Mulan and Dahlia as well to the synergy. So they boosted up the power of that synergy. Um, I think because they realised how difficult it would be later on. Given the toughness of these missions. Um, and added in the uh, the DD heroes as well. I I was not happy with the... Um, I was not happy with just having uh, non-DD heroes in the seasonal synergy. It's... 
it's it's just super redundant for me anyway it's it's just super redundant i just don't i don't get why and why do we not have <clears throat> did i only unlock two ah what a fool Go ahead and have a check on this. One sec. No? One. Two. We have activated it. But it wasn't showing here. That is very strange, isn't it? Very strange. It is definitely activated, though. We've got the damage reduction. So we'll go ahead, uh, pass through, and then we'll get to 20. Clear that one. And then we'll jump into... Ooh. Tough one, that one. Um, and then we will... Yeah, so they'll get an extra attack. And we can use Merlin or we can use Dullahan to counter that as well. So we'll just watch through this. And then I think we'll call that a video. They must have been doing significant damage to us in the last one. We lost all of our buffs there, but is what it is. Yeah, it's Talonass that's done it. It's a powerful one, that one. She is very powerful indeed. Hopefully, Lily and Leah can provide us some healing here. There we go. Spot on. Audrey to finish things off. Lee to do the most, looks like. He's very impressed. He's, he's impressed me a lot, Lee. He really has. Uh, right, okay, so that's it. Uh, looks like we've got Avengers on the next one, so we can have some fun with Aphrodite. Feel free to check it out. Um, that will be out tomorrow. Uh, if you do want to uh, see more, click down uh, on the subscribe button. Be really appreciated. Uh, and I would really, really hope that we can get to 500 subscribers over the next couple of weeks. And then it'll go to 1,000 subscribers um, You know, within a couple of months after that. Would really appreciate it. Um, yeah, so thank you very much for watching. Um, I do hope you have a fantastic day, whatever it is. Uh, I'm off to do a barbecue now. Uh, so I'm going to enjoy some delicious food. And then I might bring you some more content later. Depending on how full I am and how much of a nap I need. So thanks for watching. Hope you have a great day.